What's up, Crusaders? My name is Maxine. And my name is Sienna. And you're watching HC News. News. The grade 10s will also be having their retreat this week from February 8 to 9. The retreat will be taking place at the parish hall using the three large meeting rooms due to the restrictions and out of concern for safety. We will also have half the grade 10 class per day to provide an extra measure of safety. The other half of the class will be working on the assignment from home. Ms. Park is looking for string players. Email hpark at holycross.bc.ca before Tuesday, February 8th for more information. This Friday, February 11th will be an early dismissal. Woo! Catholic Educators Conference will be held next week from February 17th to 18th, so there will be no classes. Grad photos will be held in Artona's mobile trailer here from February 16th through February 19th. Grade 12s, if you haven't already booked an appointment, please make sure that you have booked a time slot for your Artona's. Mr. Sensei will be hunting you down if you have not yet booked an appointment. Monday, February 21st is Family Day, so there will be no classes. Wednesday, the 23rd is a flex day. On February 24th, Thursday, the grade nines will have their immunizations and the grade 12s will have their friendship photos done in the evening the same day. Stage crew applications for the spring 2022 theater projection are now closed. Good luck to all those who applied. Course selection time is coming up quickly. In the coming weeks, students in grade nine through 11 will be expected to enter your course selections in the, into the My Ed system. An updated course catalog and information video will, about graduation requirements will be shared with all students within the next couple of weeks. Grade 8, Mrs. DeSantis will be visiting your advisory classes to show you how to enter your course selections into my ed after spring break. All students in grades 8 to 11 need to make sure that they can access their my ed student portals in order to enter their course selections. If you need a portal reset, go to students.microsader.net and click on the MyEd password reset button and complete the Google form. Stay tuned for more information on dates and specific course selection deadlines in the coming episodes of HC News. Thank you to everyone who ordered SLT's Valentine's Day gifts. There were over 250 orders for bracelets. Your loved ones will receive their gift in their advisories next week on the 14th. As well, on the 14th, you can wear white, red, or pink over your uniform. Our HG Goes Greener campaign would like to thank you for raising almost $600 in recycling funds so far this year. We're so close to our goal's halfway point, so keep on recycling. Check out the bulletin board in the CAF to see our progress. Also, please be mindful of which bin you throw your trash in. Food-based and compostable waste must be discarded in the compost bin. Remember, refundables, which are Pop cans, drink boxes, plastic drink bottles all go in the bins in the middle of the cafeteria. Let's do our best for the HC environment and our world. And now here's episode 5 of Simply Green. What's up Crusaders? This is Simply Green, brought to you by the Marketing 11 class. Today, we will be covering some interviews on some of the students from the Entrepreneurship Club class who competed in the UBC Innovate competition. I'm here with Michaela and Liam who were in the joining group for the Entrepreneurship 12 class that participated at the UBC Innovate competition. How was the competition, guys? Um, it was really interesting, you know, to have different um, people from different aspects of business here to judge us. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a really fun experience and uh, I think that it taught us a lot about you know, what these different types of business competitions are like and what uh, business students in post-secondary might have to go through uh, when they're competing in different business competitions. So I think it was a great experience for us as high school students and uh, we learned a lot from it. Thank you guys. I'm here with Ali and Jane who are in the Toasty Teddy group in the Entrepreneurship 12 class who also compete at the Innovate competition at UBC. How was it for you guys? I feel like the competition was a really great experience overall. It taught me a lot about business and taught me a lot of perspectives that I didn't really see before. I think it was really cool because our group came up with a product and we actually got to turn it into a real thing, like a tangible item you could sell. And then we got real life feedback from actual business people in the business world. And it was just an overall great experience. And 
the questions they had um, really developed that entrepreneurial mindset. So yeah, I thought it was a really cool experience. Thank you both. Lastly, quick shout out to the winners of our scavenger competition, Jumbo. Congratulations to Zachary Lopez and Cassie Correa. Please come to room 218 at lunch to claim your prize. We hope you all enjoy this episode of Simply Green. That's all for now. Bye Crusaders. Don't forget to follow Crusader Connect, Crusader Music, Athletics underscore HC, HC Student Leadership, and HC.CampusMinistry. And now over to Cecilia and Bea for Theology Minute. That's all for now. Bye, Bye Holy Cross. Cross! Salutations, our fellow brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters in Christ. Christ. My name is Cecilia. My name is Bea. And, and this, this is Theology, Theology Minute. Today we'll be covering the final cardinal virtue, and we saved the best for last. Actually, they're all kind of really important, but the virtue of fortitude is really needed to live out all the other virtues. Well said, Cecilia. We can think of the virtue of fortitude as spiritual courage. As we all know, sometimes choosing to do the right thing can be difficult. Fortitude allows us to overcome our fears and pursue what's truly good. Exactly. The virtues of prudence and justice allow us to figure out what is the right thing to do. But knowing what is right isn't enough. We actually have to do it. For example, when we see someone being bullied, our virtue of justice tells us that what we are seeing is not right. Our virtue of prudence can help us come up with various ways we can step in and help. But it is the virtue of fortitude that actually moves us to action. That's a great example, Thea. Like any of the other virtues, the more we exercise it, the better we'll get at it. That's why every small thing that we do matters. Exactly. Every time we overcome our fear and do the right thing, rather than taking the easy way out, we prepare ourselves to make the right choices in the future, when it really matters. What Bea said is completely true of all the cardinal virtues. In our first episode, we gave an analogy that the cardinal virtues are like spiritual muscles. They get stronger and stronger when we exercise them by doing good and resisting the temptation to sin. Right. A lot of us spend a good deal of our time working out in the gym practicing our musical instruments, and studying for school because we want to get closer to our personal goals. Let's all make a personal goal in 2022 to advance in our cardinal virtues so that we can all get one step closer to the best version of ourselves. That sounds like a great plan, Bea. Well, that wraps up our episode for today and our series on the cardinal virtues. Just a friendly reminder that God, God loves you. you. Farewell, Farewell, friends. See you, see you next week. week.